This video is brought to you by the If Then Initiative and Goldie Blocks. You can see Venus. <gasps> How is that possible? <laughs> I can see a planet. <laughs> Sisters here, and this is Fast Word Girls. I'm Giselle. I'm Vigeline. And I'm Mercedes. We're here at the University of Arizona in Tucson. It's a really nice day, and we're gonna learn about some awesome stars. Yes, we're learning about telescopes in outer space today. This is gonna be so awesome. Let's go. Yay! She's an astrophysicist and a professor here at Stewart Observatory. Today we're going to be learning about telescopes just like this one. Do you use these? I actually build telescopes. What? what? <laughs> How is that possible? <laughs> it's the best job that you can have. So I build telescopes that either go into space or they go to the stratosphere. The type of light that I want to observe is ultraviolet and most of it is blocked by the atmosphere. Oh, yeah. So we have to send them up into the stratosphere or put them in orbit in order to actually do the kind of astronomy that I want to do. That is insane. You're making something that's going into space. Yeah. Like that is so <laughs> crazy. Like even though I've worked on a lot of this stuff for a really long time, I still like, love it. What began your love for astrophysics? When I was like seven, my mom told me about this contest on the news of, to rename the Big Bang, which is what scientists think was the beginning of the universe. And I was like seven, so I said to her, what's the Big Bang? And she told me to go look it up. I did, and then I like read all this stuff about the universe and space and galaxies and stars, and I thought it was the coolest thing I had ever heard of, and I was like totally into space from that moment on. Have you ever seen a supernova before? Sadly, the answer is no. Oh. I know. But there is a star in our galaxy, Betelgeuse, which is actually in Orion, that we think might go supernova sometime soon, maybe in like the next thousand years, which for astronomy is like very soon. A really soon. big deal. Yeah. I never like actually thought about how much is going on in the sky while yeah. we're doing our daily tasks, like taking out the garbage or something. Yeah, exactly. And there's like stars exploding yeah. and stars forming. And... If there was a planet that wasn't named, what would you name it? That's a good one. I would probably want to name it like Athena. Because all of the planets are named after like people in Greek mythology. And so I feel like we need like a tough lady planet. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Even though it's daylight, can we still see something through the telescope? Today, actually, we can see Venus. <gasps> another planet. Yay! It actually has phases the same way that the moon has phases. So when you look at it, it won't look like a perfect circle. The same way that the moon can be like a little bit more than half full. <laughs> We're going to have to move the dome so that we can right. see where Venus is. Oh, uh, it's moving. It's oh. moving. Take a look. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> that is so cool. I can Wait. see a planet. Okay. <laughs> I want to see that again. Oh Wait, you can see a planet? That's so cool. It's like half of a moon. Yeah. This has been so fun. But are you guys ready for a challenge? Yes. yes. All right, then let's go. What we're gonna do is Miss Space Competition. Ooh, okay. I have some books for you. I want you to go through them and pick out your favorite planet or maybe a celestial object. And you have 10 minutes to learn everything that there is to know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> And then I'm going to give you 20 minutes to come up with a costume that best Ooh. represents that object. Okay, oh, okay. this is oh, right. fashion design. Yes. 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 You ready? Yes. The time starts now, so let's go. <laughs> the moon was formed 4.5 billion years ago? Are you choosing the moon? Yep, I'm, I'm doing the moon. moon. <gasps> I figured out what I want. I'm going to choose Saturn. I know what I want to be, but this. Whoa. This is Gorgeous. really pretty. What is it? It's the Orion Nebula. Whoa. You guys have one minute left of research, so make sure you have all your facts and all your inspiration ready to go. Okay. Oh, all right? Okay. Okay. I need the mist. I need yellow. Oh. I need my yellowish. 
you. Oh, what? Probably okay. need this. Cut it off this around. Doing it right. Sewed it together. You know what? Okay. I'm going to wing uh, it. Yeah, let's I try this. this. What I can make like a tattoo. tattoo. everyone, it is me, Saturn. I am the six planets from the sun. I have the second biggest moon. I have some hexagonal cloud shape on the north part of me. And that is why Saturn is the best planet. Thank you, thank you. I know, I'm awesome. Oh. Hello, I'm the moon. I revolved around the Earth, but I only did it so I could use her for her popularity. And look at me now, I'm in a competition. 83% of my surface is covered in craters, but I also shine the second brightest than the sun. I think I should win because you guys literally named a dance after me. Moonwalks. My name is Ryan Nebula, but my friends call me M42. I am 24 light years across. That makes me the biggest thing in the competition. I am one of the very few nebulas visible without a telescope. And I should win because I am one of the most beautiful things you will ever see in the sky. I'm so proud of all of you. All of your costumes are amazing. <laughs> <laughs> the hardest Miss Universe contest that I've had to judge. <laughs> but I have to be honest that my favorite is M42. <gasps> oh! <laughs> I was waiting for this moment. <laughs> Your whole universe. Ta da! This has been so amazing. I can't wait to keep looking at the stars. Ladies, you've been so fun to teach, and I'm so excited to see where your passion for the stars is gonna take you next. Thank you so much Bye. for everything. Bye. 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 We've learned a lot today, and we hope you have too. We're so sparkly, just like the real thing. I can't believe we saw that big of a telescope, and we got to see Venus through it. I know, right? Thank you, everybody, for watching, and don't miss our other episode of Fast Forward Girls, where we lasso lizards. <laughs> and if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the Goldie Blocks YouTube channel. See you next time, everybody. Bye! Bye. This is Yamale. She's the founder of Stem From Dance, which is a tech-based dance program. I created Stem From Dance to use dance to make them excited about things like engineering and circuits. It's as simple as just seeing a woman who, who does it to be like, oh wow, I could do it too. Super special thanks to Lina Hill Philanthropies for making today possible.